Hey, for today we've reached the Cordia Iskri, and you're all very welcome along to another video from Gundog and Fly. Oh, not even the me in the Bialtine. Isn't uh, May a wonderful month? I love the month of May. Things are livening up. Um, the insects are becoming active. As a consequence, the fish are becoming more active. They're feeding up and they're getting fat. Um, all the wildlife and all the rest of it, the, everything is growing and it's just a, a great month of the year. And in this video, you're going to see that lovely environment I just spoke about. You're going to see some lovely fish caught. You're going to see a few blunders, as is the norm when fly fishing. And a whole lot else besides. So be sure to stay with me because it's coming to you right after this. See him again. Now well, what he's taken. Yes. First trout on the Mayfly this year. What a lovely fish. First one on the Mayfly. Right folks. I'm just spotted a fish right just here and he's just rose again just there. So there's a little bit of an awkward cast because it's kind of around the bend, but he's the first fish I've seen and I'm gonna drop him up the mayfly and let's see will he respond. It certainly wasn't him anyway, that tiny little fish. I saw a big fish there. Cool. There he is. Oh. Keep him out of the weed. Yeah. 
Oh, yes. Now, here for the And Allah, she sits here and I give her. I guess, uh, I far kill my dear her kunal solar here. Mean to be ultimate. Fear all in her fat. soon. Should have let him turn down with it. Because he was so close to me. I suppose. Making my way to this gap here between the bulrushes and the, the bank. I saw a trout rise there on my way up. I'm hoping to be able to reach it. It's quite deep here though. Oop. Don't be too deep. I need to be able to get it up at least 10 feet further than there. So I can't wait it, so I'm going to have to try and cast it. Places you just can't reach. Now I'm wading up to this area here where there's a couple of fish moving. I have to be really gentle with the wading because they're super spooky around here. Now I just missed one because I took my eye off the ball again. Oh, and another. Pretty sure I saw one rising out there. Small fish there, no. We'll help at the moment. There's a couple of bigger ones up here, I think. Why do I keep missing them?
throat. Gorgeous fish again. There you go, fella. It's work waiting up for him. So now I think he has a partner. He took it really nicely, so he meant to take it. I think the rest of them are only messing. I just think it was a huge trout the way he took it. <laughs> okay, fella. This is a typical shore fish. He's around somewhere between four and five pounds weight. He's got a back on him like a donkey. And he, I cannot get my hand around him. I'm gonna release him here now. You're gonna see the size of him if I can. Hang on a second. If I can bring the camera. Pedo size. Uh, powerful, strong fish. There you go, fast. Off he goes. Look where he is. The other side of that. Down under this bush. He's gone. How am I going to bring him back? Maybe. Maybe. If I can get the rod out on the other side of the bush. He's got a hope, I don't think. This one's a big fish. Very deep here now, right up to my chest. 
So swim along with me, friend. Swim along with me, that's it, good boy. Lead him like a dog. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Come here, fella. Oh, yeah. I got him. That was a bit of a battle. Now, what a fish, eh? Absolutely noble. Here you go, fella. Whoa, yeah. Oh, I'll take a rest after that one. Yes. Oh. He jumped. <laughs> he landed on top of me hat. 